quote from Plutarch from 2,000 years ago. The Spartans do not ask how many are the enemy, but where are they? I love this quote because I think it expresses in a wonderfully succinct way what I would call the warrior archetype. And it's also very Spartan in the sense that it's lean and mean and most of what its meaning is left unsaid. The Spartans do not ask how many are the enemy, but where are they? You know, I've been doing this series on recommending books on leadership. And in this, I, I want to expand it. I want to take it into something bigger. And this video right now is kind of an introduction to what we're going to be doing uh, coming ahead. I want to, I'm going to be doing a series that I'm calling The Warrior Archetype. And, you know, when I thought in this COVID period, what can I contribute? What do I know about? I thought, well, the one thing I know about is the books I've written and everything I've studied to be able to write those books, and which is a bit usually about ancient warfare, ancient cultures, the ancient Spartans, the Athenians, the Macedonians under Alexander the Great, um, the Romans. And one of the things that really stands out from those cultures is the ideal of, of the warrior with a capital W that seems to underlie all of that. And I'm thinking in terms of us today and the lives we're trying to live, to find meaning, to raise our family in this kind of chaotic environment that we're, that we're in now, this can be very helpful to us, the warrior archetype. A lot of us think of ourselves as warriors right now, even if we're not literally fighting wars. And I don't mean the obvious suspects like people in the military or veterans or first responders or extreme fitness athletes or people that make physical livings, but the single mom that has to raise the family. I mean, who's a, more of a warrior than that? And if you take, if your life on the street, you're, it's, it's a war just to know where you're going to lay your head at the end of the day or going up through to the corporate boardroom where it's a, it's a constant dog eat dog scramble all the way through. And I myself as a writer, as an artist, I mean, I, even though the, the, the heaviest blow I ever strike is punching, you know, a keyboard on my laptop, I think of myself as a warrior and I structure my, my days the way a warrior would. I want to talk about a couple of books of mine too as we go along here. One of them is uh, probably the, the book that's the most popular that I've done, Gates of Fire, about the 300 Spartans at Thermopylae. And the second one is The War of Art, uh, which is about the inner world, the inner struggle of the artist. And the weird thing is that fans of this book never cross over to this book. This is about the external war, this is the internal war. And likewise, fans of the War of Art never cross over to Gates of Fire. I would like to change that because these two are actually the same book. They're about the same thing. One is the inner war, one is the outer war. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm probably gonna do maybe as many as 50 episodes in this series of The Warrior Archetype. Um, there'll be five or six minutes each, we'll have them on YouTube, on uh, Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, and um, I hope you'll join us for these. Um, the Warrior Archetype starting real soon.